Hi, here we are in the Partner Pavilion at Pi World Barcelona on day three, and we're talking to Gilles from Aperio. Uh, Gilles, tell us what Aperio does. Okay, hello. So uh, Aperio is a cyber company. Uh, what we are doing is uh, machine learning the behavior of signals and alert if we detect some anomaly or some forgery uh, regarding the uh, data that is being reported uh, to the Pi server and eventually to the uh, uh, ICS. So what we are doing basically is analyzing the normal behavior of a signal and if somebody comes at some time uh, and modifies the data in order for the system to behave differently than expected, then we will notify it and we will uh, alert on it immediately uh, to the control room. What we are showing here in the screen is a, a typical example of a, of a data forgery. What, what you can see in this signal is a specific behavior with a, uh, uh, slow variations and, and uh, uh, low fluctuations. Now, uh, what, we, what we are doing is learning from the past and the behavior of this signal. And if we identify that there is something unusual, in this case, you will see that, uh, in this specific case, you will see that uh, uh, there are uh, a high con higher concentration of values and a different correlation level than before. Therefore, we will uh, alert on it because we think that this behavior is unusual. So this is exactly uh, the kind of events that we are detecting, uh, meaning it can be uh, a variation of noise of the same signal, it can be a variation of correlation, something that doesn't look right with uh, the usual behavior of the of the same uh, signal actually. How long does it take, uh, you know, after you've trained the machine for this particular process or something, yeah. how long does it take to detect a synthetic sequence? So it depends a lot on uh, the sampling rate, but it takes between a few minutes to up to one or two hours. If to give a, a simple example, if you have a sampling rate of one second, for example, we will need like 100, 200 consecutive values, it means that it will take one and two minutes, one or two minutes to identify. If you have a longer sampling rate, then obviously it will take uh, more than one or two minutes, but uh, still a very reasonable time, because usually these type of attacks uh, last a much longer time than a few minutes. On a daily basis, we will uh, identify uh, sensors or signals that uh, are stale, for example, uh, when there is no data reported, uh, when you reach out of boundaries values, but we do it through machine learning. I mean, we do not require any configuration. So it makes it easy to learn how the signal behaves and what are the possible values. And then if we see that there are some sequences that were never seen in the past, then we will alert uh, immediately. So yes, our product is at first a cyber product, but on a daily basis, we will give value on the data quality aspect because we will detect sensors that are malfunctioning actually. Excellent, well, thank you very much.